Hello everybody, this is VNA. Today we're visiting the Railway Museum of Catalonia in this lovely coastal town, Villanova y la Jodru. It's located in an old steam locomotive depot right next to the train station, inaugurated on August 5th, 1990. It's now the home of 54 vehicles, 25 steam locomotives, which is one of the Europe's most complete collections. Okay, let's get right to it. I'll try to explain as much as I can along the way. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. That would be awesome. This is the interlocking table, served in Barcelona Francia station from 1929 to 1989. This is Teresita, the smallest steam locomotive in this museum, manufactured in Belgium in 1883. It's designed for moving other vehicles and generates steam to power other machines. The first car we're going to see in this roundhouse is a third-class car, served during the 19th century. It looks pretty nice, but its travel comfortness was pretty bad. When it was running, the steam and smoke frequently enters the carriage, especially when going through tunnels. As a result, the passengers in this class often ended up with a dirty face and clothes. Even though it was a tough travel experience for the passengers, it was still very revolutionary for the world at the time, until its appearance. The possibility of movement is only limited to the people from upper classes. Studies show that back then, most people didn't even travel more than 15 kilometers from their home. The car next to it is a higher class, obviously better. Let's take a quick look from outside and step inside the next car. This model is double Z-324, built in 1928 in Zaragoza, Spain. It's one of the most valuable vehicles in this museum, and it was added to the collection in 1994. This car is a lounge car, literally a moving luxury hotel suite. Let me show you. The first room is a meeting room or dining room with the two convertible beds for four people. Let me sit down in this corner to show you what it looks like from here. And I got permission for this. Isn't it nice? Okay, keep going. This is a small single bedroom with oriental decorations. Hey, look at this small closet. Guess what's inside? Yeah, it's a retractable bathroom sink. Okay, I'll put it back later. This one is similar to the previous, but smaller. It's equipped with a convertible bed. Also has a closet. And here is a full bathroom. Looks just like any other bathroom in a hotel room. Remember, this is 1930s we're talking about. Honestly, the last time I saw a train comes with a shower room is the Snowpiercer. Well, 
I guess I'm only a third class passenger. All right, next, the kitchen, and on the left is a closet with a retractable bed down there, for the cook. The last room is the boiler room to supply hot water for the rooms. So, what do you think of this 1929's fancy top class car? I'm totally amazed. Next to the Double C324 is another very valuable collection, the BB2597 Harlan. Built in 1878 in the United States, made of tropical wood. It arrived at Villanova Jodlu in 1881. The Holland cars were one of the vehicles that were first introduced to Europe from the United States. At that time, it was the most advanced and comfortable train in all Europe. Holland cars had a very long life, and they were running in Catalonia up to 1972. This particular car went through a large scale of restoration that took eight years to finish by the volunteers. Now it's a priceless piece of art and a glimpse of the train history. These are the replicas of the Mataró passenger cars. The original ones were running from 1848 to 1948, in the line from Barcelona to Mataró. This is Maratore 120-2112, built in Manchester in 1854, top speed 60 km per hour. It's the oldest preserved locomotive in Spain. The one next to it is a 1948 replica of the locomotive Mataró. The original one was built in Great Britain in 1848, as mentioned before. It was the first train running in the Iberian Peninsula, which traveled between Barcelona and Mataró. This is one of the two locomotives that still work in this museum. Top speed, 80 km per hour. Over here is a hand car from the late 19th century. Its purpose is to move staffs on tracks and inspire cartoon makers. This is the locomotive MZA246, Mahmoud, built in 1857 in UK. It's the second oldest locomotive in Spain. 422 horsepower, top speed 50 km per hour. And it's 106 serving years from 1857 to 1963. It had traveled 2.6 million kilometers. Truly a gem in this museum. Okay, let's quickly go through the rest of locomotives in this run house, then we head outside.
These two locomotives are the model Mikato, built in UK in 1953. Top speed, 115 km per hour. This model was the last steam locomotive circulating in Spain. It symbolically extinguished in 1975. That's the end of the steam era in Spain. Let's go take a look inside its operating room. By the side of a real road in the back, there is the sculptural frise that spells Barcelona, created in 1979 by the Catalan sculptor Josep Maria Subirax for one of the facades of the Barcelona Sand Station. It remained in that station until 2006. These are more modern locomotives, like this blue one is called Gogotrilo, Cogdile because it looks like one. This is the first generation electric locomotive built in the late 1920s in Switzerland. Top speed 110 km per hour. On this day of filming, the museum is still preparing the new room with more vehicles. We couldn't see them today, but you can check their website down below for more information. Okay, that's all for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.